Aries, welcome to your tarot reading for the week of February 26th to March 3rd. We begin with the Seven of Swords in the past position. This is suggesting a period of deception, trickery, or betrayal in your past. This card indicates that there may have been instances where you or someone else acted in kind of a cunning or dishonest manner to achieve personal gain or to avoid confrontation. It could also signify feelings of sneakiness or the need to be cautious due to past experiences of betrayal. Whatever the case is, this card serves as a reminder of the importance of honesty and integrity in all of your dealings this week. We have the Knight of Pentacles in the present position. This is this card is really about practicality, responsibility, and, and dedication in your current situation. It's indicating that you're focused on your goals with a steady and reliable approach. You may be diligently working towards achieving your ambitions and making progress step by step. The Knight of Pentacles encourages you to continue putting in the effort and, and to stay grounded in whatever it is that you're working on right now. It's advising you to be really patient and persistent, and it's saying that your hard work will eventually pay off. We have the Five of Swords in the future position. This is suggesting potential conflict, disagreements, or setbacks that you may encounter in the future. It's warning against engaging in power struggles or battles where there are no real winners. It's a reminder to choose your battles wisely this week and to consider the consequences of your actions. The Five of Swords encourages you to assess situations really carefully and avoid getting drawn into unnecessary conflicts. It may also indicate the need to let go of past grievances and focus on finding peaceful resolutions instead. So, this reading is suggesting that you've experienced some challenges involving deceit or betrayal in the past, but you're currently approaching your goals with a fairly determined and practical mindset. And there may be some conflicts or obstacles that you're going to need to navigate with care and diplomacy. So it's really saying stay true to yourself, maintain your integrity this week. The word integrity is really important in this reading this week. And, and work to handle any conflicts with grace and wisdom that you've gained from past experiences. At the bottom of the deck, we pulled the King of Pentacles as your clarifying card for this week. So this card represents abundance, stability, and success, particularly in the material aspects of life. And coming in as the clarifying card, it's really reinforcing a a theme of practicality and responsibility that's highlighted by this Knight of Pentacles in the present position. So this card suggests that you really do have the potential to embody the qualities of the King of Pentacles, which is reliability, financial security, and really strong work ethic. The King of Pentacles may indicate that by Staying grounded and focused on your goals, you'll have the ability to achieve long-term success and prosperity. It's encouraging you to take a leadership role in, in managing your resources and pursuing your goals with confidence. This king also is serving here as a reminder to seek stability and security in all areas of your life right now, including your relationships and your finances. It's advising you to make practical decisions based on sound judgment and to prioritize long-term sustainability over short-term gains. So overall, this King of Pentacles is really emphasizing the importance of staying practical, responsible, and, and focused on your goals to attain success and stability in the future. So I think that there's very much an energy here of, of needing to stay grounded, to be very practical in your thinking this week, and also an emphasis on long-term thinking over short-term gains here. This Seven of Swords figure here, he's really focused on winning at all costs. He doesn't care about 
honorable battles. And he's kind of gone off on his own and, and taken these swords from the enemy camp. And in doing so, he's he's kind of created a bit of chaos. He's gone against the the group thinking here. He's gone off and he's like, oh, I've got a good idea. Let's steal their swords in the middle of the night and weaken the enemy. But that kind of goes against the grain of, of honorable battle. So it's kind of a card of, of selfish action. Whereas the the Knight of Pentacles, he's not a selfish person. He is someone who's really good at leading a team or leading a group of people. Because once he's inspired by that energy of, of wanting to do things for the greater good, he's quite a great leader. So I think there's a progression here of energy from selfish thinking and winning at all costs to this more stable, practical energy of the Knight of Pentacles, who's really thinking about good for everyone involved. And the Five of Swords is coming in, I think, as a warning, almost as a mirror of this energy of the Seven of Wands, where it's an energy of, of winning at all costs. And after the battle is done here, and, and the Five of Swords is very much an image of a battle that has come to an end, and the figures in here deciding what they have to do next. So it's very much about integrity. What do you do when the war is over? How do you handle yourself in that moment? On both sides with being the victor or being the defeated person, how you handle that energy on both sides is really about integrity. And I think this King of Pentacles coming in as the clarifying card is sort of doubling down on that energy of integrity of Thinking long-term instead of short-term selfish energy. Think long-term, focus on your goals, be really practical and grounded, and think of the greater good as well. Think about other people, and that's going to help you reach your ambitions. So that is your reading for this week, dear Aries. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it resonated for you. Please be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you next time.